Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Do you know the difference between vitamins K1, K2, and K3? In this video, I'll share what are vitamins K1, K2, and K3, and vitamin K's function, deficiency, and RDA. In March 2018, I published the video 25 High Vitamin K Foods. Like vitamins A and E, vitamin K is the generic name for a group of fat-soluble compounds. The two main forms are designated K1 and K2. A third form, vitamin K3, is a synthetic compound that does not occur naturally. Several viewers have commented, without proof, that K3 is essential for good health. Several studies showed K3 caused liver damage and destroyed red blood cells. In the U.S., you can buy K1 and K2 dietary supplements, but not K3. Some dietary supplements appear to have three types of vitamin K. In reality, this supplement has two forms of K2 plus K1. Another frequent comment is about the superiority of the K2 form. Those comments must be from low-carb dieters, since K2 is found in animal foods. K1 is abundant in leafy green vegetables and other plant foods. Animal and fermented foods provide small amounts of K2. For people eating little or no animal foods, K2 is produced by gut bacteria. Unlike K1, there are 10 forms of K2, designated MK4 through MK13. Animal and fermented foods are high in MK4. For vegetarians and vegans, MK5 through MK13 is produced by gut bacteria and MK4 is made from K1 without gut bacterial action. The main function of vitamin K is blood clotting. Without sufficient vitamin K, a clot that should form in seconds or minutes takes much longer or may never form. A blood clot test may be performed before surgery to check clotting time. Vitamin K deficiency is rare in most developed countries. Most healthy individuals are not tested for vitamin K deficiency. Individuals with bleeding disorders or on anticoagulants are tested for vitamin K deficiency. The test is for prothrombin time, the time it takes for blood to clot. Individuals with malabsorption disorders can develop a vitamin K deficiency. In the U.S., RDA is the acronym for Recommended Dietary Allowance. RDA is the average daily amount needed to meet the nutrition requirements for 97 to 98% of healthy individuals. Because vitamin K deficiency is so rare, there is not enough data to establish an RDA. Instead of RDA, adequate intake is used. As you can see, daily adequate intake is very small, 120 micrograms for men and 90 micrograms for women. The amount is the same even for lactating and pregnant women. While there are vitamin K supplements, most healthy people can obtain enough from their diet. One half cup of cooked spinach provides 450 micrograms, 375% of the adequate intake. You can get 200% of the adequate intake from just one half cup of cooked kale. Vitamin K1 and K2 have a low potential for toxicity, so there is currently no upper limit. 
You can obtain more than a day's supply of vitamin K from leafy greens like collard, spinach, turnip, and kale, or one cup of cooked broccoli. By comparison, a serving of animal foods high in MK4 provides 10% or less of the recommended adequate intake. Some takeaways from this video are K1, found in plant foods, is the most abundant form of vitamin K. Animal foods provide small amounts of K2. Most forms of K2 are made from K1 by gut bacteria. And K3 is toxic and should not be taken in any amount. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.